So a few weeks ago, I was in prayer, and I had a vision of Jesus in a waterfall. I knew that there was a school of evangelism conference that was going on in Moravian Falls, and so I figured that that's where God was calling me to be. Over the next couple of weeks, I felt the pool to be there grow stronger. And the interesting thing was that I didn't even particularly want to go. But the night before, I prayed for confirmation, and I, I received a dream that was confirming that I should be there. So I hopped in my truck on a whim, and I drove almost six hours to North Carolina. When I got there, I went to the very first service, and it was made abundantly clear that God didn't want me there. I can't explain it. There wasn't anything particularly wrong with the people or the conference. Just my spirit testified that I wasn't meant to be there. And so I left, but I was frustrated. I said, God, why did I just drive six hours out to North Carolina so I could come sleep in my truck in a Walmart parking lot? <laughs> and as I laid there, it dawned on me that Jesus was showing me the vision of him in a waterfall, not at a conference. And then it all hit me. God didn't call me out here for another prayer line or impartation or for some big prophetic moment that I may have thought was going to occur. He called me out here to rest. And I started to think about the previous months and all the toil, the last year, all the prayer, all the striving, all the going, all the grinding. And then I realized he just wanted me to rest at the falls with him. So the next day I got up and I went to the falls and I sat there. God can get the dark out of me before I head on back. Because the good heart in me knows I need you back. I started to read my Bible. I started to walk through the grass barefoot, catch lizards with my hands. The interesting thing is that as I sat there and rested, I met a guy named Brian, and he was telling me how he had just gotten a year sober. His mom had been praying for him for 23 years. He said God saved him. He said he was there that day because he wanted to get baptized. <laughs> he said that the night before he was praying God would send somebody to do it. So that's what we did. After that, I went to Prayer Mountain. I feel like a part of me died there. I ventured out into the woods and sat with the trees for a few hours and I found myself laughing because I realized that I had just drove six hours to go sit in the woods and talk to God. But something spiritual happened in that moment. I died to all my desires, the good ones, the bad ones. I found rest in Jesus. I realized I just didn't care anymore. I realized I just wanted to stay here. You see, I've been here before. God's brought me to this place to rest multiple times, and something always pulls me out of it. Christian culture, people telling me who I am and what I'm supposed to be doing, people getting in my head, striving, pride. It always seems to creep back in and drive me. It's not that I'm doing things for selfish gain, or that I'm doing things with the wrong intention. But I just finally learned that it was time to sit on the ground and die. What'll be will be, and I'll glorify God the whole way.